Hell yeah, what's up guys? It's Curse Pike. My friends call me Big C. I'm back again guys. Today we're talking about best practices. That's right guys, YouTube, as you're probably aware, has been cracking down on spammy channels and in the last few videos I've made we've talked about some of the things that bad spammy channels do bad, but more importantly what good channels do right. How you can make sure not only are you not detected for spam, even though you're not a spammer, but you're basically following all the rules and doing everything right. You get an A plus kind of thing. So let's get into a few more best practices. Now one of the best practices, and this is one I wasn't even aware of, I didn't even understand this until just recently, is basically having your channel banner, your channel banner at the top, if you have the, if you have the ability <laughs> or the desire to put your channel name inside the banner somewhere, YouTube or Google who owns YouTube can generally tell that. And that doesn't even matter what font it is because they use something called OCR, which is short for Optical Character Recognition. Now, when you look at Freedom's Banner, let's take an example. On Freedom's Banner, you'll see a whole bunch of stuff, a whole bunch of faces, etc. But you will see Freedom in big capital letters. Now, normally you would just think, hey, they don't know what's in that banner. It's just art. Well, no. Google can do an OCR scan and tell and say, hey, this says Freedom. The channel name's Freedom. This channel is probably legit. Now, obviously, the channel's legit. It's got lots of views, lots of subscribers. But for those of you that are starting out and you want to get a jump, guys, one of the recommendations that come from this is basically create your channel banner or your channel art, but put your channel name in there somewhere. It doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be in your face. Put it in there. It's a tick mark. Done. All right, guys. The second thing we're going to talk about is... All right, guys. The second thing we're going to talk about is channel icons. It used to be called channel avatar. And one of the things I see in a lot of channels, especially newer channels, is they use the default banner and they use the default icon. This, while not a bad thing, is associated with lower quality accounts, particularly spammers. Spammers generally don't care what their channel art says, so they just leave it blank and then they just steal videos and upload them in bulk. Obviously, you guys don't do that, like I've said in the past, but changing or creating your own channel icon is very, very required and is very, very easy. At the end of this video, if you're not a graphical guy or you don't know a graphical guy or gal and you don't know how to use Photoshop, you don't know how to use GIMP or any of the online tools, I'm going to walk you through in a quick tutorial how to quickly create a channel icon, upload it, change it, done guys. But like I said, please, if you've got the time, change your channel icon, create it yourself. Only you know what you want it to say or what you want it to look like. And if you don't know how to do it, follow the tutorial, piece of cake. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Remember, optical character recognition, change your channel banner, change your channel icon. Simple to do. If you don't know how to do it, watch the tutorial. I got this. Or, you know, hit up one of your graphical designer friends because maybe that's a better way to do it. But anyways, guys, that's it for today. I'll be back later with some more thoughts. Cheers. Bye. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the tutorial component of the video. Guys, this is for those of you that are new to YouTube or for those of you that don't have Photoshop or GIMP or aren't too familiar with some of the graphical editors that you can use to create icon and banner art and even thumbnails and things like that. I get it, we all start there at some point. You have two options. One of them is to contact one of the designers that have left a comment in one of my videos, for example. There's lots of people that do custom icon work, custom background, channel art, all that stuff. Those guys and gals are awesome. Contact them. For those of you that want to create it yourself, and you don't want to get all cuckoo in the too deep into Photoshop, there are some free options which I'm going to show you. The best free option I think at this time is a website called canva.com. You go to Canva and bang, you get this. You get create a free create a design. Again, guys, this is free stuff. That's why I chose it. It's not the most powerful pro program, but it's free and that helps. So, anyways, the next step from here is you're gonna have something at the top that says use custom dimensions. Click on it. Bang, it's gonna ask you for width and height. You wanna go with 800 by 800. That is Google, well, YouTube's prescribed suggestion right now. So let's go ahead and follow their best practices. Click on design, bang. Opens up a new browser thingy dingy. And here we go, we got a nice bright white canvas with nothing on it. Perfect. Now we have some options, guys. We can go ahead and start adding in text, background. We can upload our own images. Let's just start for simplicity's sake. Let's start with a background 
and you can select any of these colors or add your own color or you know what take one of these free color designs I don't know let's this gray one looks all right let's try it left click on it all right we got a great background we're rocking and rolling the next step I like to follow is text I click on the text button and then you're gonna see that I can add in some of these types of text text pardon me and it's got a lot of pre-built designs all of which are free that maybe will solve the issue you don't want to go too crazy into the Photoshop world so let's go ahead and just select a free design and show you how it looks all right strictly no parking private property let's click on that let's see what that looks like all right it loads up looks good we got gray with some nice grayish light whitish background off white here okay click off of it click on to it and you're going to notice that you can go ahead and now start typing over top of this text so um let's say welcome to now i'm going to type in curtis pike curtis pike and then on this one i'm going to write youtube channel boom okay that is probably not what i would do for final copy but we're just doing a demonstration here so you guys can go nuts select anything you want now you want to make some adjustments to it you can change the text type we're using Roboto Condensed or Roboto Condensed, but if you like Railway, go with Railway. Control Z to back, oh shoot. Uh, here's my YouTube channel. But go nuts. If you want to increase the size of the font, do it, easy. Now you might want to resize this element. You're gonna notice that this does have some simple grids in it. So you're gonna notice that this is centered both vertically and horizontally. But if I change the size like this, well, now it's not centered, so I gotta go ahead and recenter it. And now it's recentered, if that's the look you were going for. So now it's this big. All right, I could go ahead and just download this if this was a final copy that I wanted. Click on the download button, image for web JPG. Presto, it's coming down. And it says hold tight, preparing your design. And that's all there is to creating a design. Now, obviously you can create a, you know, you could do some searches where if you want to add in some holiday stuff, you can click on this. And you know what? I want a friggin' partridge in a pear tree or whatever the hell that is. So I'm gonna put that partridge right up in there. I'm gonna, yeah, let's do that. You want the partridge there? Yeah, I do. You like pie? I like pie. Get rid of the background text. Let's delete that trash can. And my my channel icon is a big friggin' piece of pie. How's that? Center that bad boy. All right, cool. You want to wear a hat on that pie? Put a hat on the pie, guys. There's no stopping you. We're on a roll here. See the center button? Done. All right, let's reduce the size of that hat. Or that hat. All right, this pie is way too high. <laughs> You see what I'm doing here, guys? This is super simple stuff, but maybe you want a turkey in that bad boy. All right, turkey and pie, turkey and pie, reducing the size. I'm doing this just to show you what is possible with this simple online editor. With all that nonsense out of the way, I did show you how to go ahead and adjust that. So let's just go ahead now and upload the design, final part of the tutorial. Go back to your website or to your YouTube channel, pardon me, and here's how you get there. Go to Creator Studio, click on Creator Studio. Now go to View Channel. Now you get this screen, which we were just at, but here's how you get there. Now you wanna click on that pencil or pen looking thing. It looks like a pencil. Click on that bad boy, click on Edit. And now we're gonna select a photo from our computer or just drag and drop a photo on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that photo we just made. Welcome to Curtis Pikes, blah, blah, blah. And dragged and drop it. And here it gives you a center thingy option. So that looks kind of good. But you know what? If you want to create it a little bigger and still, I don't know, center it. Okay, that looks pretty good. So we're, we're in good shape here. Set as profile picture. And done now let's just hit cancel uh do i need to share it share the share it why not it gives a shit sugar um and there you go I've, I've added in a new look here now you're gonna notice that it is a circle so while the while the original icon is 800 by 800 google does circle it out also this 
image transfers over to your YouTube channel. It just takes a while for the YouTube to get the update. So if you don't see the update right away, do not panic. It will happen shortly. Guys, that's all there is to using this free tool, canva.com. I hope this tutorial helped, and I'll be back later with some more thoughts. Cheers.